put it here. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to um, burn leopards in a disc. Um, so um, basically, I'm going to showing you how to um, burn leopards onto a um, single layer disc, um, which is 4.7 gigabytes. Okay, so um, first of all, to, um, you might um, find this useful, for example, um, just in case if you want to back up your um, leopard disc, just in case um, you lose it or it doesn't work or something like that, and you need to um, click on the um, disc um, once you put it into your computer, and then click a new image and um, just press enter, and it will create an image of it. Now um, this will be um, six or seven gigabytes. So to um, put this onto a single layer DVD, then um, you need to um, do everything that I show in this tutorial. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do is you have to um, mount um, the DMG file you create um, right here and click New Image. Now um, just call this something. Um, you can call it anything like leopards. Eight point three gigabytes. Okay, so um. You need to change the image to um, sparse disk image. Okay, so once you've done that, um, take a few seconds to make, um, but it should say untitled or something. But also you need to click that, go to restore, and you need to drag um, your um, Mac OS X um, install um, DVD DMG. Actually, you could probably, I think you can um, drag the actual um, CD um, here. Okay, so you need to make sure that you don't drag the actual image, but the mounted one. And then the destination is the mounted um, sparse image file. So once you've done that, um, you've got to open up the sparse image. Um, okay, so over here, first of all, you have to um, open up optional installs. Once you're here, there's going to be Xcode tools here. So if you want, you can back that up if you're going to need them. Um, and then you can just um, run an installer. Um, when you've after you've reinstalled, got to delete that. So you um, can close this. Now you're going to need to um, view um, hidden files, or um, what you can do is when you go to go, then um, volumes slash um, the name of the um, image um, slash system, and it should be in this folder here. Or you can just enable hidden files. So you need to open up installation and packages. And now we need to delete some some things here. Okay, so we need to not delete Asian language support, or you'll have to um, modify some other files. Obviously, here. leave simplify Chinese. Okay, so once you've selected all these things, you need to um, take them back to the trash by pressing Command and um, Backspace or Apple key and Backspace. You need to go to your trash um, and empty it. Okay, so this that bit is very important. Now you press Apple key and I. Um, it should show um, how much is used. Okay, so um, in instructions. You need to delete these files. So there's um, one that's 140 megabytes, and there's another one that's about 20 megabytes. You could delete the whole folder, but there's no point because it's only 164 kilobytes. Go to disk utility, um, then you need to click on um, the mounted file here, and you need to go to f um, first aid and verify disk. Okay, so um, this will unmount it, and it will just um, refresh the f um, file size here. Okay, so um, after you've emptied the trash, you can verify the disk again. I'll just pause it. Okay, what you have to do now is you have to click on new image. Uh, call it something like um, burn this or burn. Uh, can leave it as the default name, and um, you need to make sure it's four point six gigabytes. And you can change the image format to sparse disk image again. And click create. Okay, so as you can see, it's um, creating disk image. Okay, so um, what you'll need to do is you need to click on this, go to restore, um, and you need to drag the um, modified Mac OS X install DVD um, mounted image 
and then drag um, the disk image and click restore. Now. Okay, so if you've got an error that doesn't have space, you um, need to um, make a new um, burn um, image, um, em empty the trash when you replace um, the old one. You have to open up a program called Carbon Copy Cloner. Okay, so you need to select a source. Um, so to do this, you have to mount um, uh, the um, leopard's um, big sparse image. So once you've done that, you've got to um, select that. Um, you need to um, go to Carbon Copy Clone and select the target disk of um, disk image. Okay, so um, I think you need to select. Um, back up everything and delete items that don't exist in the source and click clone and um, you need to click continue okay so um, this is um, it and when you finish this you'll be able to um, boot a Mac off this um, actually first of all you need to burn the um, thing by going to burn and selecting um, the um, burn this sparse image, and then um, you'll be able to boot, but um, boot that image off um, any um, Mac computer. So uh, if it's t Tiger, it might not might not boot um, off um, a um, on a P um, Power PC, um, and of course the discs that came with your Mac, they will um, only work on the type of computer that you have.